Hey guys, welcome back. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna be creating this earthy, green, smoky makeup look. Smoky, of course. What else would I do? <laughs> and I created this look using the new Master Palette by Mario in collaboration with Anastasia. And if you don't know who Mario is, he is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. He is amazing. His work is phenomenal. I mean, you guys have seen the looks he's done on Kim and he works with plenty of other celebrities and models nowadays. I mean, he's everywhere. And I absolutely love this palette he created with Anastasia. The colors are just perfect. I think when you first look at the palette, you're like, okay, there's a bunch of neutrals in here, but then there's a smoky blue, an olive green, there's warm and there's cool tones, and you can really create a great variety of looks using this palette. And I decided to go with more of an earthy green tone for the eyes because I just feel like this season or this fall and winter, the the color scheme that everyone's gonna be going with are earth tones and specifically olive greens. I've just been seeing them everywhere versus like silvers and golds that you typically see in the fall and winter um, or like the cranberries and the, the plums. I just feel like earth tones are gonna make a comeback this season. Not even a comeback, I mean they're everywhere, but I just feel like that's gonna be the it color for the season. So if you guys are interested and wanna see how I create this look, keep on watching. Oh, it's recording. <laughs> Note to self, don't ever eat a bag of hot Cheetos before filming because one, my hands are now red and so are my lips. So that was a bad idea. Don't recommend it. To prime my skin, I'm gonna be using my rose water and glycerin spray by the Heritage Store. Again, I picked this up at Urban Outfitters, but you can get it at Whole Foods and you can even make one at home because all it requires is rose water and glycerin spray. And I think probably filtered water and that's about it. And for a foundation, I'm gonna be using my Anastasia foundation stick in the shade Warm Natural. So I'm just buffing it in with this Kabuki brush and anywhere where I have a blemish and want a little more coverage, I'm just doing a little patting motion. That's another reason why I love this foundation. It sort of doubles up as a concealer if you just want to layer it in a certain area. It's got really great buildable coverage. Like always, I'm gonna be using my Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Corrector in Peach Bisque, just on the inner corners of the eyes to really brighten that area. And then to conceal and highlight, I'm gonna be using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. A lot of you guys had questions about this concealer in my favorite concealer or favorite under eye concealer video. And the only reason I didn't mention this concealer is because I'm so new to it. I just started using it. I think when I made that video, I had only used this one other time. So that's why I didn't include it. However, this is an amazing concealer and I do highly recommend it. I just don't like to recommend something especially in like a top anything video if I only used it one time um, prior to doing that video. So yes, this is an awesome concealer for those of you who asked. I'm gonna set these highlighted areas with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. I always like using a translucent powder for this part because I don't wanna add any additional color to those areas. And then for the rest of my face, I'm gonna be setting it with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium. And whenever I do my skin first, the last thing I like to do before moving on to the eyes is bronze and contour. So I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my skin using the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Bronzer in shade 02. Can you take these away from me? Yeah, give that to me. And the only area that I really tend to contour are my cheekbones. So to further define and chisel that area, I like to use a contouring powder. So I'm using this one from NARS. It's in the shade Talia. And I'm just taking a large fluffy blending brush and applying it to the hollows of my cheeks. And you also wanna start closest to the hairline and blend up. Oh, and I almost forgot, I also like to add it just to the sides of the nose. And now I'm just taking that same Laura Mercier translucent powder and applying it right underneath that cheek contour to really define it. Because without it, I feel like it's not as sharp. So I'm just gonna leave that there, work on my brows and then dust it off. Were you eating my Cheetos? Take these <gasps> from me. <laughs> Give them back. <laughs> Wait, no, I... <laughs> 
Now for the eyes, I am going to be using a base with a little bit of color on the lid. And because of that, I'm going to be priming my entire lid with an eyeshadow base that's really lightweight. I'm going to be using the Tarte Clean Slate 360 Creaseless 12 Hour Smoothing Eye Primer. <laughs> longest name in the entire world. But this is really lightweight and it's gonna help prevent creasing, whereas the other base with the color is just going to make the eyeshadow pop. So on the lid area, I'm gonna be using this Makeup Forever Aqua Excel Eye Pencil, so it's an eyeliner in an olive tone, and the shade is, I believe it's L or I36. And I'm just going to apply this from the lash line going up and then blend it out. And I'm only blending out the edges, not really wherever else I applied it, just decreasing the look of where it ends. All right, so the first color I'm gonna be using is Bronx, which is the olive green from the palette, and I'm just going to pack that on right over that eyeliner. The next color I'm using is Violetta, and I'm applying it to the crease and really lightly blending it up. So I'm starting off with the tiniest amount of shadow and then building it up. I'm also going to be applying this eyeshadow to the outer V portion of the eye. And then I'm just grabbing a Smith 232 and further blending this out. I love the Smith 230 and 232 because they come to a point so they're tapered. So they make blending really precise versus a brush that might be really flat on top but still fluffy. I'll use one of those at the very, very end to blend everything out. But when you're being precise like in the crease, I really love the Smith 230 and 232. And then with another Smith 230 brush, this one's clean, I'm picking up Isabelle. And I'm going to use this shadow to blend out the edges, but for this one, I'm going to start on the inner corner and blend outwards because I want there to be like a little pop of orange right here. And while I'm using that shadow and brush, I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line because I want this to be the transition shade underneath the eyes. And again, I'm going to start closest to the inner corner of the eye and then blend it outwards because I want there to be more of a pop of orange right here underneath the eye. And also while I'm on that lower lash line, I'm also gonna pick up Violetta, the darker brown, and apply that really close to the lash line. So I'm pushing it up against the lash line. And with this shadow, I'm not bringing it all the way in. I want there to just be that orange eyeshadow. So I'm stopping about right here, but mainly focusing it towards that outer V. And then I'm just gonna pick up my Smith 232 and blend all of this out. And then the last thing I like to do when blending my eyeshadow is I grab a large fluffy brush. This is called the Large Fluff by Lexi. It's number 233. And I use a face powder. I'm using the same one I used earlier to set my face, the MAC Mineral Powder. And I just, that must have been really loud. And I just buff out these edges so they disappear into the skin. And the last shadow I'm gonna be using from the palette is Hollywood and I'm gonna use that as an inner corner highlight. Ooh, I really like this. It's super subtle and really, really soft. Not like your typical intense inner corner highlight, but I like that. And for the waterline, I didn't know if I wanted to go with a black, a brown. So I'm gonna go with a golden bronze eyeliner. This one is from Make It Forever. It's another one of their Aqua Excel eyeliners. This is in the shade ME42. I don't know what their numbering system stands for, but it's ME42, a golden bronze, and I'm gonna apply that to the upper and lower waterline. And I actually really like the way this color turned out with the colors that are on the eyes. So now I'm gonna apply a couple or a bunch of individual lashes and I will be right back. While I wait for the lashes to dry, I'm gonna go ahead and finish everything else and then come back and add mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off. It's about time. I'm gonna be using yet another new Anastasia product. This is the Glow Kit, the Glow Kit. <laughs> the giant one. This is their most recent glow kit and it has six different colors in here. I will say though, I have been using this palette quite a bit and the formula seems different to me. It's a little more on the glittery side versus just like a nice wet look on the skin. However, I'm still gonna use it so you guys can check it out. I'm gonna use the shade White Sand to highlight my skin. And for the blush, I wanted something that was sort of like a dusty peach. So I'm gonna be using this one from Makeup Geek. It's called Infatuation. And I'm gonna spray myself one last time with the rose water and glycerin spray to make everything look really skin-like and natural. And then I'm gonna come back to add mascara and the lip. 
I'm gonna be trying out these two brand new Tardis lip paints from Tarte. These are a new formula, so if you didn't like the old formula, I think they're still gonna carry it, it's just a different formula. So that one was creamier and it did smudge, it didn't stay on as well as other liquid lipsticks. I still like them because I like that texture in my liquid lipstick, more like that moussey texture, but I know a lot of people want their liquid lipstick to not budge at all. And that's what you're gonna get from this formula. So these are budge proof, smudge proof, water resistant. They will stay on even with a makeup removing wipe. I struggled to get these off my hand when I did swatches. So I'm gonna try out Salty first, which is a nude. And then I'm gonna try Fortune, which is like this nice mid-tone brown color. This is the shade Salty on its own. I really like the color. It was a little streaky when being applied. And for me, I like a glossy nude, so I'm gonna add a gloss on top. This is Urban Decay's lip gloss in the shade Midnight Cowgirl. Now this combo, I really love. Okay, so this is the other color, Fortune, and while I do love the color, I feel like together it's a little too monochromatic, like too brown on brown for me. So I'm gonna give you guys one more lip option. This lip color that I'm gonna bust out is always my go-to lip color for events and whatnot because it's like darker than a nude. I don't know, it goes with like every single look. So I'm gonna grab that and give you guys that as a third option. I am much more satisfied with this color. I feel like it's a lot more muted compared to the other one that I had just applied. This is Jouer's liquid lipstick in the shade Noisette. I know I probably butchered that because it's a French word, but I absolutely love this color. I wear it a lot on Snapchat. It's just kind of like a go-to lip color when I cannot for the life of me figure out what color I want to do on my lips for a specific makeup look. This one tends to go with everything. I think it's because it's like a very taupey, neutral, muted lip color that you can't go wrong with. So I would totally wear this look in combination with this lip color. And with that done, that completes this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, you guys know the drill. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and don't forget to subscribe so you see in the next one. Bye guys. And being that it is November and it is Thanksgiving month, I wanted to do something to give back to you guys because I am so appreciative and so thankful for all your love and support that you guys constantly show me. So I decided in the month of November, each week, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway for you guys. Yay! Just to show you guys how much I love you and to say thank you and I think you guys deserve it.